All right, so as you guys may know, last night we got a data download on Global. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. And in today's video, we're gonna check out everything that we got from this data download and also see what us global players can look forward to from the new campaign that's starting in a couple days. All right, so with all that said, let's pop down to the bottom here and start from the very beginning. And the first thing that we got from this data download are some event assets for the new tech transforming Gohan. As you can see, he is officially gonna be the next Dokkan Fest unit on Global. There's the transformed ultimate Gohan, and dude, I am so freaking excited for this guy, man. He is just ridiculously broken, and I gotta have him. I gotta have him. I don't care how much money it costs, I don't care how many stones I gotta spend, one way or another. I'm going to be pulling at least one copy of this guy before his banner goes away. Hopefully, it doesn't cost too much. Hopefully, it's not the beginning of another despair arc on the channel. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, there's the Gohan. And from there, we're also getting some new maps. The first one is for the Stronger Than Ever Super Training of Goku's Family event, where I believe we can collect specific skill orbs for Goku, Gohan, and Goten. So that's what this is for. And the other map is for the fourth stage of the Ultimate Gohan Dokkan event, where of course we can collect the uh, Awakening Medals for the new Gohan. And we're also going to be getting a new wallpaper. Now JP's had this for a couple weeks now, but uh, I'm glad Global is finally going to be getting it because this one's actually pretty dope. That little boo in the background you see, he actually is animated and can fly across the screen after you set the wallpaper. So. Unless I'm forgetting something, this might be the first animated wallpaper we've ever had in the history of Dokkan. Now you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't think of any other wallpapers aside from this one that has like a moving component. But uh, either way, dope wallpaper, Global is finally getting it, so that's a good thing of course. And uh, this is potentially huge, okay? Now these our Dokkan Festival tickets for the upcoming Transforming Ultimate Gohan banner, which of course JP never had. I mean, they had the banner, they didn't have the tickets though. So uh, if we're going to be getting tickets for just doing multis on the Gohan banner, then this is a huge JP shaft, okay? Because obviously, super hype units, pretty exciting banner, and the fact that they're also giving us tickets would uh, probably make some JP players very salty, right? But at the same time, I don't know if that's how it's going to work because there's a chance that we can only get this by, you know, paying for packs in the Pilafs Trove, which has happened in the past. So if that's the case, then obviously a lot less exciting. But either way, we are officially getting Dokkan Festival tickets for the Gohan banner. I'm just not really sure if it's going to be, you know, part of the summons or pay to play only. So we'll see about that. Before anybody gets too excited, keep that in mind. This might not be available for free to play players, but uh, fingers crossed that it is because that would be huge and that uh, this would be a pretty big win for Global if that does happen, okay? And the other thing here is a Optum... Uh, how do I say this word, man? Autumn, autumnal? Autumnal? I can't, I can't say it. I just can't. I tried. Autumnal training ticket. <laughs> And I believe this is very similar to the thank you tickets or the wish strips that JP gets for the Ten of Battle celebration. And I think we will be able to exchange these for a certain pool of characters in the Baba Shop. Um, it could be used for something else, but it just reminds me of that. So we'll see exactly what this is once the celebration starts. But we're also getting these on Global for the celebration. And uh, here are some medals. So this is the Awakening Medal for the Ultimate Gohan. Here's the Awakening Medal for the AGL Tarble. And here's an Awakening Medal for the Int Gotenks. And of course, that means that these guys are getting Awakenings. So there's the Tarble Awakening. And there is the Gotenks Awakening. We'll take a look at their details in a second, of course. And of course, the AGL West Supreme Kai is finally going to be getting an Awakening as well. About damn time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting as well. There's the assets for her. And also here's the Kabito Kai, who's coming with the Gohan um, on the banner as like the secondary unit. So there's Kabito Kai, there is Supreme Kai and Kabito. 
and uh, there is just Supreme Kai by himself. So this is the SSR art, there's the TUR, and there is the fusion into Kabito Kai. And we're also getting Gohan again, so he's saying here that Ultimate Gohan already existed as an enemy for the previous Ultimate Clash, but only the super attack quotes were translated, so now all of his other assets are also translated because of course he is coming to global or going to be dropping on global in a couple days. Um, and I think that is pretty much everything as far as the assets go that we got from this data download. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I'm missing here. Oh wait, we're getting a new sticker, which uh, of course should be the one we're getting for the new Ultimate Clash. And there is the Saviors category like little buttons here. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's pop over to DBZ Space real quick before we go and take a look at these release dates. Okay, so there's Tarble, there's uh, Go Tanks, there's Go uh, Han, as well as West Supreme Kai, and the uh, Int Supreme Kai and Kabito. And the release date here is October 4th at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which would be October 5th at uh, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, which would be the time for me. And usually when these banners drop, I do go live with some summons. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be doing that this time around. We'll see how many stones I can get before then, because uh, I am pretty dry after the Worldwide Celebration. Uh, but yeah, possibly look forward to a stream. If not, then a video very soon after. And yeah, this is the release date for all these guys, October 4th at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And uh, as far as the details go for the Tarble and Go Tanks, let's quickly go through it. By the way, it's this this Tarble that's uh, getting a Token Awakening, all right? So yeah, his leader skill is gonna be uh, Siblings Bond, Category Q plus three, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%, or All Types Q plus three, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack causes supreme damage to enemy and raises Alex's attack by 25% for one turn. And his passive is changes STR key spheres to AGL key spheres. Attack and defense plus 60%. Chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, plus 30%. When there's uh, when there are another two or more Vegeta's family category allies on the team, and siblings bond category allies key plus one. Attack and defense plus 20%. So overall, very solid free-to-play unit, in my opinion. Links, Brainiacs, Saiyan Warrior Race, Respect, Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Royal Lineage, and Shattering the Limit. So that is the Tarble. And for the Int Go Tanks, who awakens from this Go Tanks right here, his leader skill is going to be Fusion Category Q plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense and passive is attack and defense plus 90 percent when performing a super attack launches an additional super attack when facing sorry launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing only one enemy plus an additional attack and defense plus 40 percent when attacking if the target enemy is in defense down status and links are innocent same warrior race same lineage shocking speed over in a flash fuse fighter and shattering the limit okay so those are the free to play awakenings right there and we'll quickly go over the west supreme kai details too so leader skill realm of gods category key plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack sacred light bullet greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and passive is attack and defense plus 100 percent guards all attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack realm of gods category allies attack and defense plus 40 percent and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10%. And that is the West Supreme Kai Awakening right there. And for Supreme Kai and Kabito and also the Transforming Gohan, I did go over their details in my video yesterday. So if you guys want to know what they do, then feel free to check out that video. I'll put a link above my head so you can just click on that video and head over it there. Okay, but uh, that is pretty much the update for today's or last night's data download. Uh, one other thing that I read on Kawhi's feed is that we should be getting two parts to the celebration, which was kind of expected. And in the second part, we should be getting that um, Waifu Double Rates Rising Dragon Carnival banner, as well as the Awakenings for uh, Fizz Launch, Int, uh, Oceanus Shenron, and also we should be also getting a new Extreme Z Awakening, which could be Super 17 or Super Saiyan 3 Broly, we'll have to see, but I believe it's definitely one or the other 
So look forward to that in, uh, you know, the middle to end of October. And yeah, like I said, that is the entire update. There's not really much else to talk about. Shout out to Kawhi for that information. Shout out to my boy Proton10MG once again for posting the assets from last night's data download. And I uh, hope you guys are excited for this upcoming campaign. It should be fairly eventful, especially compared to what we're just coming off of. And uh, I'm excited for new content. So that is the video. Thank you guys once again for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.